Hello, today I'll talk about a person who changed a lot of things in my life. Let's begin. His name is Barkan Bayolo, and he was a famous motorcycle rider. He was born in 1975, and he died last year at a motorcycle accident. He was known for his love of motorcycles. He named himself Go The Golden Suited Man. He had a, a YouTube channel named The Golden Suited Man. He was sharing uh, motorcycle videos about um, information videos, um, tutorials and stuff. But it's not what made him famous. It wasn't his riding skills, it wasn't his expensive motorcycles, it wasn't his um, appearance that made him famous. He had a special way of delivering his message. He had a special way of speaking. He was nice, polite and sincere. You wouldn't get bored even if you didn't like motorcycles while watching one of his videos. Barkin was a righteous person. Um, what makes him so special is he always wanted riders to wear their protective gears, such as helmets, vests, um, gloves and boots. He cared more about others than himself. This is what made him famous. He was nice, he was helpful, and he was a nice teacher. He was in love with motorcycles. He even left his actual job and um, he bought a motorcycle workshop in Istanbul. He was also an intellectual person. He liked Greek mythology, he liked old school films, um, classical music, and he could speak English very fluently. But how could he possibly affect my life? What is his part in my life? Um, he held the view that on a motorcycle, um, even if you ride perfectly without any mistakes, other drivers' mistakes can still harm you and kill you. And this actually um, goes same with the life. Others' mistakes still can harm you in your life and kill you. And most importantly, in one of his live streams, he told that if you have a dream, if you have a goal, go achieve it and try to do something for it. Do not wait for it to come to you. Um, let's say your goal is to buy a motorcycle um, and your family may not allow you to buy one. So what you're gonna do? You shouldn't just give up and you shouldn't just um, let people oblige you to do things. Then you can go get a work, go get a job, save some money and buy a motorcycle. No one is going to stop you. Another most important thing is he talked about a thing. Um, most of us do this in our life, in our daily lives. When making important decisions, when trying to get things together, we seek confirmation for our actions. When we want to do something, we, we go ask to our friends or to our um, siblings that I'm going to do this, should I do it? This is actually wrong. You shouldn't seek confirmation for your actions. It may be your dream, it may be your goal, it may be your, I don't know, very simple thing, but we shouldn't wait for others' confirmation. Um, this is what changed my life mostly. I stopped seeking for confirmations. I just did what I saw through and I did it. Sadly, I didn't meet him in person. Um, I didn't have a chance to meet him in person and I don't have one right now. Um, I only knew him from the internet. I would love to meet him, but you know, it's not possible right now. Last year, at July 2015th, he died in a tragic motorcycle accident. It wasn't his fault. It was the other side's fault. And this verifies that other people's mistakes can still kill you and he verified his own speech. Um, the accident happened um, at Bosphorus Bridge at 2 a.m. and there was a pedestrian who was trying to cross the bridge on foot. Then he suddenly stepped on the road and Barkin hit him. The, the pedestrian died at the scene of the accident and the Barkin was taken to the hospital. But after a couple of hours, he passed away. He was and will always be remembered as the golden suited man. And he was an inspiring person for me. And he was an inspiring person for thousands of people, maybe hundreds of thousands of people. And he will not be forgotten by the Turkish motorcycle riders. Have a good day.
Milano'dayız, Modena'dayız, Yavru Vatan Kıbrıs'a geldik, Marbella'ya geldik, Yeşil Vadi'ye geldik. Seninle tanıştığım günü asla unutamayacağım.